Adam White joins backed. Coinbase and Gemini listing new coins. A shakeup at BitThumb. Welcome to Ledger Mix. This is the daily show brought to you by Blockstreet that catches you up on the latest blockchain news. My name is Kenny Ferreira. Today is October 12th. And in our first story today, just about a week after leaving Coinbase, Adam White has been named the COO of Backed, a platform owned by ICE, which is the same company that owns the New York Stock Exchange. Basically, Backed theorizes that onboarding institutions into the market could help smooth out Bitcoin volatility to the point where people actually feel comfortable using it. So in their first phase, Backed is building an infrastructure like regulated daily Bitcoin futures to allow high volume investors to more securely jump in. This would hopefully lay the groundwork for the company's second phase, where they would work with partners like Starbucks to build applications facilitating merchant and consumer adoption. The grand vision for cryptocurrency seems to be there, but none of this can happen until a lot more money jumps in, and that's where Adam White comes in. As their new COO, they're gaining someone who has been in the industry since 2013 and built Coinbase's institutional products like GDAX. It seems to be a perfect fit, but we'll have to wait and see how things pan out. Speaking of Coinbase, for our second story of the day, we found out that Coinbase Pro has added ZRX, the token of the decentralized exchange platform, ZeroX Protocol. Similarly, Gemini has added Litecoin and might even add Bitcoin Cash in the near future. As mentioned on the show before, both of these exchanges take regulations very seriously, with Gemini even being overseen by the New York State Department of Financial Services. So adding new tokens to their exchange tends to be a long process to make sure that everything is compliant with the law. However, the important thing to note is that being 100% regulation friendly can only go so far in the eyes of users as Coinbase Pro now sits at 23 and Gemini at 37 in terms of daily volume on worldwide exchanges. Adding these tokens cautiously might turn out to be a good step towards giving their products more utility to people already invested in the space. And in our final story, we have some more exchange news. Bloomberg has reported that BK Global Consortium has bought a majority share in the largest Korean exchange, BitThumb. Previously the fifth largest shareholder, the group purchased 50% plus one share of BTC holding company to solidify their position for a cost of $352 million. Despite the future of cryptocurrency in Korea being uncertain, BitThumb has raked in nearly $26 million in net profit this year and has recently announced a new decentralized exchange to ease security and regulatory concerns. A lot of people want to dismiss cryptocurrency and blockchain during the bear market we're in right now, but this development shows that there are still investors with great track records out there and willing to put capital into the space. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you watch this as a video on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, please follow us and let us know in the comments what you thought about today's show. If you listen to it as a podcast, leave us an iTunes review because that will also help us out. I'll be with you again on Monday.